Uh, Andy, you've been back in training for five or six weeks now. How are you finding life with a wildcat? Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's all right. Um, good set of, set of boys. Uh, training's been tough, but but good. Tough in the right places. Rich is um, taking as well, and I'm learning a lot in just the six weeks we've been in at the moment. I've learned a lot. Yeah, you missed the first couple of weeks with a bit of an injury, I believe, and still in rehab. How long have you been back sort of in, in full-time training, and how yeah. is how is and what was the injury, first of all, and well, how is it now? I injured it for Quinns at the last game of the season, just uh, did some ligament damage on my ankle. That only left me out a week, because obviously off-season covered most of the time I was injured. Um, I was back in the second week of training, back in fully fitness, so touch wood, it's still good. Uh, and weather's been kind to us as well, up until probably mm. this week where it started to set in a bit. Um, got through plenty of stuff on the field this year and how's the field work going for you? That's the big part, gelling everyone together, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, the weather's been all right. Um, again, touch wood, it's, it stays this way. Uh, it's getting colder, as, as everyone knows, but we'll, we'll do our best to stay out there on the pitch. We've got plenty of 3G pitches to try and get on and um, practice this skill. But yeah, I mean, the main focus for, I think, Rich for the time being is trying to drill in the, the skills, the, the moves, the, the calls and get the players to gel because I mean there's 15, 16 new players um, and if we can all gel hopefully we can perform really well. So it's very much putting the foundations out then ready to, to yeah. build on for the start of the season. Yeah, it's not going to happen overnight when you like to send that many new people. So yeah. And a first hit out in just under three weeks in Leeds and Boxing Day. Uh, um, uh, traditions so, here. <laughs> um, one you're looking forward to though, hopefully you, you can get involved. Yeah, I mean obviously it's it's a different thing because I've never, never been um, Played Boxing Day. It's never been one of my things that I've done, and so it's just something to adjust to. But it's exciting because it also gets you in the swing of things. It gets your match, match fitness ready, um, early games. You can test out what the team's going to be like, how we're going to gel. So it's actually a good little test. Not as much the game and the result, but more of the game and how we perform. I suppose after nine weeks of being in the gym and training with each other, it's been nice to get out and have an actual game I imagine and I yeah to put I mean like, that's practice. what we're here to play I mean, we're here to do we're here to play rugby all the tr uh, training and the preparation is there to go on the pitch and that's all most of the team want to do um, so Boxing Day it's a nice early start for us to get in so yeah we're good and the first game was announced last week um, Witness away and then sort of a hometown club for you Hulk KR coming here hopefully yeah. your, your, your home debut in the Wakefield colours against one of your old clubs hopefully yeah well hopefully I'll get the Wakefield uh, Witness game um it's a bit different because obviously they've got that 4G pitch thing going on, so I don't know if, if the Rugby League has set it up as obviously as, as, as a weaker team to, to throw against the, the new team, um, but I think that's a bit of an insult, so I think we're going to go there ready to ready to play, hopefully um, get a win out of that first game, and uh, and then same again with the KR game home, home, home tie against KR. I mean, I've played KR many times with Quinns and lost everyone. <laughs> Um, home and away, so hopefully we'll um, do a better performance with Wakey. It'd be nice to win them, or beat them, sorry, once in a while. And um, have you noticed the buzz around the, the city and around the, the town at sort of the season launch, how much fans are looking forward to the season? So there's a lot of talk about it when you came in, but now you're here and in amongst it. How have you found it? Yeah, it's it's good. It's a lot a lot different to down south because obviously it's such a big area in London and um, the fans, you don't really see much of them, but when you're in Wakey, uh, they're, they're everywhere. And um, you can't really walk anywhere without somebody actually noticing that you're a wakey player. And uh, it's good. There's a big buzz. It's 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 exciting to for for the club and for the actual city. And hopefully, if we get the um, the ground passed as well, that'd be a big big for the ec 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 economy around here as well. So it's, it's good. And it must be exciting as a player to be part of something that's that's building as well. It must be one of the reasons you came here. I imagine. Yeah, I mean, there's places I've been before, and they promised so many things and never delivered, and. And it looks like you got Jimmy and Andrew at the top, sort of guiding things in the right direction. And um, hopefully we'll, it'll all come come about and we'll be one of the top teams in the next three years. I think one of the things this year, though, is that we've already mentioned about gelling together, but is, is patience. It is going to take some time, isn't it, for the squad to, to knit together. As all we're striving to get it working as quickly as possible, but it is going to take time, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think the, the fans should... Should worry if there's a few losses at the beginning of the season and the performance is that that good because, like I said, there's 15, 16 new players. We've got to gel. It's going to take time, and um, obviously you've got Andrew and Jimmy and then Rich coming in trying to stri strive forward with Wakefield 
and you've got to think that you know we've got three years as a license in Super League. There's three years to get it right. We don't have to do it straight away. So hopefully, like we'll build and we'll get better soon.